we have spent a couple of nights at the Angeles National Forest and without knowing that we were going to go back to the Angeles National Forest we ended up here in this area. Uh, I really thought it was a different forest but it happens to be <laughs> also part of the same one and uh, this is interesting because it seems like today's adventure is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to explore something called the Old Ridge Route. The Old Ridge Route was done through the Los Angeles, Na the Angeles National Forest and it was opened in 1915. We're going to head up in that direction to see what this uh, old ridge route is. Sour truck is ready and so are we, so come and join me. This is a road that was built in 1915. Kind of strange to be driving on a road that's so old. Uh, I wonder what we're gonna find in there. That was a small group of young ladies that was getting schooled on how to ride dirt bikes. I guess they got separated because the guy said that there were about six more coming and I think I counted three. And here are the other three. So I noticed that the one, the end, they were properly trained because she indicated that there were no more of them, their group coming behind them. So that's good. Uh, for those of you that don't know, usually when you are in a group, uh, you're on the trails like this, you let know the oncoming traffic, how many vehicles are coming behind you as part of your group. And you do that by pulling out your left hand and indicate it, you know, if there's one behind you, you indicate with the number one or two, that way they know how many more to expect. Uh, in my case, I had my fist out, which indicates zero. There's no one else coming behind me as part of my group. And that is exactly the same thing that the girl at the end on the last motorcycle did. Some of the rocks are like really sharp. <clears throat> so I'm trying to avoid as many of the rocks as I possibly can but it's sometimes just inevitable to go over them. And the good thing is that we have 10 ply tires. Maybe I should start jacking up the car a little bit. I don't have anyone behind me, so I'm just gonna stop right here for a second. Put it on off-road mode. That way we have a good view of the front bumper and we can also see the roll and pitch. Actually, I think it's a good idea to do that because it keeps getting a little bit more uh, dirty and off-roady. And eventually we're gonna need it, I think.
This right here is a bit of a structure in the middle of this path. And it looks like at some point here, there was some kind of structure. And this is the entrance to it. Let me see if I can point the camera straight at it. Hopefully you can see the arch. There's like one of those arches right in front of us. Why don't we get out of the car and explore it? Just to see what's up here. Oh, so you're gonna Let's walk go me to, in? Let's go to the <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess this used to be uh, some kind of building up here. Part of the foundation is here, the rest is gone. Wait a second, it looks like, it looks like we can drive up this side. Well, this looks wide enough for a vehicle. Then there's a water pipe here. Yeah, it does look like. I don't know, but we could also turn up here. There's the side of the mountain right there. Let me see, so far it looks like we can go through this. It's a little bumpy here. It's a little bumpy, but I think we can make it. This part looks a little bit sketchy, but I can also make it through here on this side. But the thing is that, where does this go? Oh, check it out. So it goes around the facility that used to be here. Then there's some old bushes and we would end up right there where the car is. So, I think I want to try this. Let's try it. Let's see how this looks from a different angle. Let's see how the actual climb goes. This is that beginning where the pipe was, so I'm gonna take this a little bit to the left. Using the camera of the bumper just to make sure that I don't hit that with the tire. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, here we're gonna be just a little bit, just a little bit sideways. And there go the bumps. Oh, there's a big one. I think I'm gonna stay a little bit to the left here. I think that's the best way to go. So let's push to that side. Hopefully we don't hit the bug too hard. That's great, okay. On the final approach, this one was a little bit steep. Ooh, it hit it backwards there for a second. It has spinning tires, so I'm going to engage the locking differentials here on the rear. Um, what a difference with the locking diff. <laughs> No more slipping, that was great. Okay. Let's see. 
oh, that was pretty cool right there. Oh, we're already almost at the end, so that did not go bad at all. I would say this is a fun little trail obstacle that we did. I jacked it up to very high instead of just high because there were some big tall bumps. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments below what you think about that little uh, challenge. It wasn't very difficult, of course, but uh, we did it. It's part of the fun, so let's just um, unlock the differentials, right? Because we don't need to have them locked right now. And actually, I think... Oh, I'm in reverse. That's why I have that view. So locking differentials off. This is great, so... I hope you enjoyed that and right now what we're going to do is that we're going to continue driving the trail towards our destination. Oh, wow. This is quite the lookout, if you ask me. It looks like if we continue driving in that direction, we're going to turn over on that side. See if we can zoom in on that. We're going to turn around on that side and keep exploring through that side. But look at that. Do you think this is worthy of exploring this area? We haven't seen much yet. We just got it. So uh, let's, let's head in to the other side. Let's keep going.